for for now now we're gonna he I mean the EMT gets out and is like what what is going on here we got a person in the car he's like get in the damn said boy and the guy's like don't talk to us like that we're What's wrong with you? Ah, ah, ah. Somebody's standing up to me. I'm going crazy. <sighs> totally insane. And the state police and the governor, everybody, are saying, hey, this is good. And that's why you're discredited and disliked. And you make all the other good state police officers who aren't lunatics on power trips look bad. And it turns out this guy's done this repeatedly. So I guess in Iraq, the troops do just sit off the road shooting families up in their car. It's on YouTube. We can show you just telling families for fun. I mean, I don't... Look, we're humans. We don't... You're not God. You didn't rise after three days. I mean, got news. This is America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Now land of the cowards, home of the slaves. Now, you've already seen the reckless driving, the lunacy. Almost driving the uh, ambulance into a stalled car. Risking the God's own life. But I guess God's can't die, so he's immortal. Risking Hercules, he's half God. He Hercules, the war hero, risks his own life, goes out into the uh, oncoming to go around. Because Lord knows he's bored all day out there in the country. He finally, find, must be the first big call he's had in a month. Uh, he's got a, some Iraqis to fight. I mean, American people. So he accelerates on down the road towards the ambulance. And the ambulance thinks they've woke up in the twilight zone. It is the twilight zone. Next stop, the twilight zone. Jaron in there, Jaron Nyhart running things, pointed out something that I noticed last night and forgotten to make the point. The ambulance has seconds. I mean, this police car comes flying up on him so fast he has no way to get out of the way. And I've told you, I've been driving back from Shirts, Texas, or, or, or driving up I-35 through Church, Shirts, Texas, and there's this blue charger that I see fly up on people's tails every time I'm down there. He must be out there giving tickets 24-7. He did it to me. Three-lane I-35. I'm in the slow lane. Cruise control at 70 because I don't want to get tickets in that speed trap. And he flies up on my tail. By the time I see it, literally this dark blue charger goes 100 miles an hour right up behind me, almost hits me three feet, and he goes, flies out and shoots on down the road. I mean, just absolute reckless driving, absolutely psychopathic. Well, this cop's not driving that reckless. He's driving fast, though, on these windy, rotten roads. And in seconds, he's up on that that uh, ambulance, and the ambulance can't get over because there's a car d in the breakdown lane. So as soon as it can, it gets over fast. Because, I mean, they know God's about to come after them and strike them down if they don't. Bolts of lightning are going to hit them in the form of a taser. So you see... Them get over, not fast enough. I mean, the only way that cop would have been happy on this power trip is if they'd have gone, all right, you know, say goodbye, God, I'm coming home, and just steered right into that car and hope they lived. And then the cop would have still been, you piece of filth. Learn to get out of my way quicker. Die better. <laughs> I mean, literally, this is the mental illness we're seeing, and the cop's so delusional, he thinks, yeah, they deserved it. Yeah, I'm going to give you a ticket, you son of a bitch. <laughs> At 100 miles an hour on I-35 and almost hit him. <laughs> Nobody can stop me and I'll kill that whole family. They give me a problem. <sighs> yeah, just driving however they want. You want to see insanity. You want to see mental illness. You're going to see it. And, and, and they're in the news saying that the EMTs are dangerous to the public. This is, a, this is, this is incredible. We'll be right back. This lunatic comes up on an ambulance at 90 miles an hour. The ambulance tries to pull over, comes over the top of the hill, sees a car broke down, barely survives it, and then uh, gets over because he's so scared of the cops because they've been pulling him over in that area, that same crazy man with pregnant women. It's like I'm tasering pregnant women because the husband speeds in D.C. They're nuts. They're nuts. They're on power trips. And he's screaming at him, saying, you learn to pull over. When they did to the God. I mean, just a little on record you're in the wrong, and you don't care. You're going to go attack this man you've already attacked physically. God, we just need to start just work. Okay, fine. You want to be worshipped? Oh, you are God. Oh, you hung the moon. Oh, I mean, what is wrong with you people? He's saying, you didn't yield to me. And he goes, what do you mean? The way you ran up on me? We did yield. And he's like, no, you didn't. You don't tell an officer he's wrong. This lunatic. I had an Austin PD one night. I pulled out of the office on the access road of 290 right here. 
There's three lanes on the uh, on the access road here. There's not even headlights behind me. A cop car had to be going 95, 100. She just zooms up. All I see is lights. They don't have the cherries on. It almost hits me. I look over, and the cop violently pulls up and shines a light in my eye and then speeds off. I'm lucky he didn't pull me out of the car, shoot me in the head, and go, I got power! The cop grabs the EMT. The EMT goes, fine, you're nuts. Falls to the hospital, arrest me. He's, he's totally controlled. He's, I've got a patient, sir. We can do this at the hospital. No, it's all about him, and his weird lawyer is in the paper saying that he didn't follow an order and they didn't get out of his way. You guys are cuckoo. Do you really believe the crap you're shoveling in people? You're trying to run an ambulance off the road, driving around like a maniac in neighborhoods, and then you assault people and choke them and all this stuff, and then they're the ones that are bad? I mean, you people are out of your minds. But you work for criminal bankers. They put you in power to carry out criminal activity against the people. And you're doing a great job. You're out of your mind. The sick part is these cops don't even think they're evil. They really believe their own baloney. But the good cops out there, they're ashamed of you. And it's too bad you're tarnishing their name and the sacrifices they make. You are ashamed. Now, here's the EMT. As they're choking him, and another cop's running around now. And we have the video up close of that from the handheld camera the cell phone camera, he's calmly being choked, and they're saying, turn down, you know, submit, don't fight back, while they're choking him, and he's sitting there calmly with his hands going, you're, you're the one choking me, calm down. He's the real man, he's the guy on the right who put up with your crap. I don't know if I can handle somebody shoving me around and attacking me, acting all nuts in my face. And the cop starts assaulting him, and the big black guy's just controlling him with ease, going, now stop that, till the, till the next cop shows up, and he figures out, these cops are about to kill me, I better... Let him go ahead and hurt me. He goes, okay, go ahead and hurt me. And they, they get off on the cult of torturing him, and, and you see him getting off on it. I mean, you guys are out of your minds. And then finally, another higher-level uh, state of police shows up and tells him, stop it, because it's obviously very in, embarrassing and insane. Uh, uh, finally, a state trooper with half a brain shows up, and you hear him in the background going, okay, that's enough, let him go. But, but the two lunatics that first show up, they're just out of their minds. Out of your minds. Out of your minds. Don't you even care about yourselves driving around at 90 miles an hour on windy, hilly roads with rotten shoulders in Oklahoma, as bad as the roads in East Texas, and, 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 the, and the ambulance pulls over instantly for you, and that's not good enough? You flip out because you're showing off for your wife? You've got PTSD guaranteed. You're out of your mind. Admit you did wrong and start being a man instead of acting like a big baby. Because you're going to lose all the respect you got with the people. And it's not going to go well for the police. I'm just telling you right now, the people are getting sick of your red coat activities. Happy